Hi, I'm Steve Maskery. Do you cut your tenons like this? Well, you can cut them like that if you want, but there are a number of problems with using this technique. The first is that this tenon is dead central. Now that, of course, is fine if I want it to be dead central, but very often I want my rail and my style to be flush. And if the mortise isn't dead central, I don't want my tenon to be dead central, I want it to be where the mortise is. Secondly, the fit of this is dependent upon how thick the workpiece is because I'm turning it over and referencing off two different faces and that means if my workpiece is varying thickness very slightly because perhaps they've been made, machined in two different batches then my tenons will vary as well and there is a lot of trial and error in getting this tenon exactly the right thickness. Thirdly, using the rip fence as a stop to cut the shoulders is very bad practice indeed. It only takes a nudge from one of the waste pieces coming along behind to get the offcut jammed between the blade and the fence. It can kink the blade, get jammed down into the throat plate, or bounce up and hit me in the face. If you make yours like that, I would like to persuade you that there is a better way and I've got it. This is the ultimate bandsaw tenon jig, and it clamps to my rip fence. My rip fence has fine adjustment on it, and I can alter the position of this to within 0.1mm very easily. That's the thickness of the hair. And so it means I have perfect control over where the tenon sits within the thickness of the workpiece. And so my face frames come out perfectly flush, no cleaning up to do except the glue. That saves me a great deal of time because I don't get that annoying little step where you have to plane off the faces of all the rails on one side and the faces of all the styles on the other side to get it perfectly flush. This gets it right first time every time. I also don't have to worry about the thickness of my tenon because this jig slides between two predetermined positions, the left cheek and the right cheek. And it doesn't matter what size tenon I want to produce, whether it's six millimeters or eight millimeters, half an inch or three quarters of an inch, those two positions are fixed for any particular size that I want. This means I don't have to do any test fitting at all. My tenons are right first time every time. And I can use this jig to produce tenons, twin tenons, angled tenons, bridle joints, lap joints, anything where you've got a tenon fitting into a pr very precise space. The Ultimate Bandsaw Tenon Jig is intrinsically more accurate because it references off just one face, just like in traditional hand joinery techniques. Even if I am using workpieces of slightly varying thicknesses, face frames will be flush where I want them to be flush, and aprons will be set back where I want them to be set back. Right first time, every time. Rather than using the rip fence as a length stop, it is much better to build a cross-cut jig like this with a built-in stop. The scrap falls harmlessly away, and there is no chance of it flirting up at me or causing any other damage. Now, the Ultimate Bandsaw Tenon Jig is easy to build 
it will take you a few hours, not half an hour, but not all day either, and it'll cost you a few pounds in knobs and Bristol levers and nuts and bolts and things. The Ultimate Bandsaw Tenon Jig is available now from WorkshopEssentials.com and it comes on a DVD like this. There's almost an hour and a half of high quality video footage showing you exactly how to build a jig and how you can use it to make tenons, twin tenons, angled tenons, as well as lap joints and bridle joints that fit perfectly straight off the saw, right first time, every time. The DVD also contains high quality drawings that you can print off and take into the workshop with you. There are drawings for the tenon jig and for the crosscut shoulder jig. And both are available in inches and in millimetres. So wherever you are in the world, you can build a jig using units that are familiar to you. You can buy Workshop Essentials 6 on its own if you like, or you can save a bundle by buying a bundle. If you buy all six together, then you get them at half price. And there are other bundle options there as well. And don't forget, every Workshop Essentials DVD comes with a no quibble money back guarantee. And in four years, no one has taken me up on that. So go to workshopessentials.com today and grab yourself a bargain. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, enjoy your workshop. Cheerio!